Our next guest is an actress and best-selling author who just wrote a new children's book. Please welcome Gabrielle Union. Yay! How are, oh, yeah, let me give you applause. I have applause here. There. Just to make it, yeah. It's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while, and uh, this is uh, what I've I've heard. I've heard that that well. I knew that Dwayne, uh, your husband, retired, but I hear that uh, maybe you're ready for this quarantine to end so he could go do some other things. I need the vaccine yesterday. I mean, this is like his dream. He retired so he could be with the family. You know, so this is he's living the dream. He's super well adjusted to this new normal, and I this is my nightmare. Um, to be honest, Ellen, it's it's actually my nightmare. Oh well, I bet a lot of uh, women would love to have that nightmare. He's he's a great guy, and he was on the show recently and talking about uh, y your daughter Zaya and her transition. And it's like, I, and I know this is silly to to say because you know who doesn't love their children unconditionally, but. I guess a lot of people don't, but it's so amazing how supportive you've both been. Yeah, I mean, to us, it's it's a little it's a little odd to be to get you know any kind of recognition for doing what you know you're you're supposed to do, which is love and accept and embrace your 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 kids. So it's odd to get recognition for that, but unfortunately, there are so many people who just don't. They just don't. And so many people who really, truly feel like their kids are disposable. Um, if they're not perfect images of them, um, they're not interested. And, and it's, a, it's, it's heartbreaking. So um, for us, we're just doing what is natural to us and, and, and loving her. Uh, there she is. There's our girl. Um, but um, yeah, we just want happy, healthy, you know, compassionate kids. So that's what we, yeah. we, we try to leave well, with that. And, and Zaya... Zaya is very, very lucky to have uh, both of you as parents, and it is unfortunate that a lot of people have children thinking they can uh, mold them and make them who they want them to be yeah. and have a certain idea of, of what they're supposed to turn out like, but uh, they all turn out different. And you have, speaking of that, you have a new baby <laughs> that I've seen pictures of. Okay, so... This, it's the most adorable baby, and yet I've never seen a more serious baby in my life. <laughs> she is like, she's like the George Carlin of babies. That that is our little our little nugget. She's pure comedy, but absolutely dead ass dead serious. Like she's just stone face. She is unbothered and unimpressed at all times. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So so she has. She has her own Instagram. How many followers does she have? Like a million? She, uh, I think she's at like 1.2. Yeah. 1.2 million. Andy. Yeah. How many Instagram followers do you have? Not that. <laughs> I don't know, but definitely nowhere close. How old is the baby? Like a uh, year and a half, she's right? Almost a year and a half. Yeah. 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 Year and a half. Good for her. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's very angry. <laughs> so she's a year and a half almost. <laughs> and she jumps into a pool. Now, has she had swimming lessons? Was that something that you let her do? Yeah, we started swim at like five months old. So she's, she's, she's had some experience now. Oh yeah, look at her go. Wow. She looked like a little sperm. I can just, I can jump in the water. Just going. Just like a little sperm. A little Andy, sperm. she said she looked like a little sperm. <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. That's what a sperm swims like, like that. Exactly. She really wasn't using her arms, so it was really just all her little legs. Right. Yep. I want to hear about the children's book, Ellen. Okay, Andy, I'll ask her about the children's book. Um, let's talk about the children's book. Yes. Welcome to the party. Welcome to the party. Yeah. Um, Why did you want to write it? You know, we wanted to be able to, to, to show Cobb later. Oh, there she is. Um, that she was so, we were so excited for her. We were so um, excited to welcome her into this family, even though she was sort of brought into our, our lives in a more non-traditional way. Um, we wanted to celebrate her in, in, in the same way that, you know, every baby is sort of, or most babies are sort of celebrated and uh, cheered on. And from there, we started thinking about, you know, my mom, at, who at 60 years old, adopted uh, three kids in successive years. And she's now 73 with, you know, 
teens and preteens. And there's no one that really celebrates different kinds of, of family creation, um, whether, you know, you have a chosen family, um, you know, so as an LGBTQ plus ally, I see a lot of my friends have chosen families and nobody really celebrates them. And I want to be able to celebrate um, all of our families, um, no matter how they're created, and just letting everyone know that they are welcome at this party called life. And and we wanted to start the, the little little guys off, knowing that um they're they're welcome and they're celebrated. What a great book! What a great important book to read to kids. And I have to go back to 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 your mother at sixty. Yeah. Wait. So at sixty years old, she she got. How many babies? So she adopted her first child at 60. Um, and then the next year, another another baby, another baby girl. Uh, so she has two girls. And then a couple years later, she adopted um, her, her son um, and my little brother, Amari. And so now she's 73, divorced, single parent. Um, you know, raising two, you know, two teens and a preteen at 73, all on our own. And there's not a lot of people that are going, yeah, way to go. And there's certainly not children's books that celebrate, you know, we create families in all different kinds of ways, and they're not all celebrated. Um, if it's not the traditional way, we just don't have the words or the language, or even, you know, books that uh, kind of help us navigate being okay with celebrating all kinds of different families. That's fantastic. This, that, book, this book should be mandatory reading for every children's preschool. Oh, it really should. I agree with Andy. That should be mandatory reading for, for uh, parents and schools because what, what an important message to send. We're going to take a break, and uh, when we come back, we are going to play a game. Yes. We'll be back. Yes. 